Hi everybody, I'm here with Oliver the Chinchilla and we're going to be showing you our small pet haul for January. And Oliver has um, been helping me. I opened the products already just to make it easier to videotape for you and show you what all is in store. So, the very first thing that you might have seen just now, if you were paying close attention, is a new product to me. And it's called a Garden Pop. It is a strawberry topping garden pop. A garden style treat with strawberry topping for rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, rats, and mice. Um, however, it is totally safe for my chinchilla. And I'm really cautious when I am picking treats for my animals because I don't want them to have a lot of sugar or bad things in it. This one, if you notice, uh, it does have cornstarch and obviously dehydrated strawberries, which are going to have some sugar in them. But it, it, the uh, cornstarch is fairly low on the ingredients list, and so is the honey and sugary type deals. So I think that this is going to be fine. Oliver has been munching on it since I opened the package in my first attempt to shoot this video. I'll show you what it looks like up close. Here you go. So what I like about it is that it comes with this topper that I can hang on the side of his cage. So he'll have hours of fun devouring his garden pot. Come on, say hello to YouTube, Oliver. Oliver, they want to see you. Sorry guys, he's, he's kind of just not that into you, but um, don't take it personal. He is overwhelmed by the treats and things that I have in store for him. So Strawberry Garden Pop Petco. It was a little pricey. It was $3.99, but he does seem to love it so. The next thing I have are these treat sticks, which appear to be... Well, he is so camera shy. Okay, so this is what I got. They're Vitacraft Crunch Sticks, and I'm excited about these because these are the first things that I have seen that were designed uh, specifically for chinchillas that were available at my Petco. So I had to buy it because I was just so excited. Poor little chinchillas just don't get the love they deserve. This has added calcium, which is great for the chinchilla. The ingredients, um, I don't know if you can read French, uh, but I can, lucky me. <laughs> Um, the one time I get to use my foreign language skills. And it also has some honey and cornstarch, but once again, er, it's very low on the ingredients list, which is crumpled and I can't fix for you to view. Um, so it's low on the ingredients list, so I'm cool with that. Uh, a little bit of sugar's fine. Here he comes. Look at him checking it out. So this seems to be getting an A-plus rating from Oliver already. They were $2.99 for two. It comes two in a two in a package. And they also have um, this wire to hang it with. So it's going to get hung. And I'm quite excited about that. Uh, I think that boredom breakers just laying on the side of the cage aren't that cool when you're a chinchilla in a cage and pooping everywhere. So this makes me happy that I can hang it. Oh my gosh, the chinchilla just ran up my back. Okay, the next thing I have was actually sent to me for the holidays from my family in Indiana. It is a KT box of hay, and since time has passed since the holidays, I've already busted this open and there's some hay. Oliver has been playing with it. It has carrots, mints, and marigold. And once again, it looks like it's a chinchilla specific product. However, I'm sure that all the other animals listed up there on the top will uh, be fine eating this. I don't know about you guys, my Hamsters really do not care about the hay, so this is what it looks like. This is the box, and at first I was a little worried because I was like, how is he going to figure this out? Will he be able to access the hay? Hay is so important to a chinchilla's diet. They need to have a lot of it every day, and so I was a little worried, but it actually worked out great. He's a genius chinchilla. I, I just have to say my chinchilla is just so smart. He's a genius. Um, so they get to, to dig around and chew through the box to get out the yummies inside. And it really is great for promoting their natural foraging instincts. So, and what I like about this too, what I've discovered is that it is a nice, relatively clean way to give your chinchilla hay. If you look at my cage, you see there's a lot of space for hay to fall out of. 
So uh, yeah, anything I can do to kind of help keep my room slightly clean. It's hard when you have a chinchilla. As you can see in the background of my video there, embarrassingly, there is dust from his dust bath. So yeah, not having to vacuum up a ton of hay makes me a happy camper. The next tree, oh, look at that. See, this, this is the hay mess I speak of. What is to be done? Okay, the next thing I found I've discovered with small pets is you got to be creative. Don't just stick to the small pet aisle. Uh, go and check out the bird section. Check out the reptile section. You never know what they're going to have. This came from the bird section. It is a wooden block, so that's great. He can chew on it. And it has, coming out of it, these straw-like bits that are made of, um, it appears to be paper. It is created by um, Super Creations who have put the label on upside down just to make videotaping this a little harder for me and more frustrating for you to watch. So I'm not going to spin it around. But what's cool is it, again, has a nut and bolt set right here. So I will be able to attach it to the side of his cage. And I think it'll provide him a lot of fun stimulation. He could probably rub up against these little bits that I'm shaking here. He can hop on top of here. And, of course, he can chew it. So... Um, I found with my chinchilla in comparison to my hamsters, he blows through chews or chews through chews. I don't know, but he goes through them so quickly. I did a haul video in November and you can see his little chews here, which I'll do a review on. Uh, getting pretty chewed down. His one up here is getting way chewed down and, um, his kebab has been decimated. It was all the way full in November. So I'll do a product review on that. Hey, look, that's my trash. I had a cold. See, I have no colon sinus. Sorry. I'm doing this on my lunch break, so work with me. Okay. So, moving on. I also got a hanging toy. Ooh. Um, I like this one. I think it's going to provide a lot of um, sensory stimulation because it has a variety of pieces. Hey, chinchilla. That's my Doc Martin. Doc Martens used to be cool before you were born, if you're watching this. That's how old I am. My shoes are from 1996. Um, so anyways, this is really cool because it has um, sisal. It feels fun. I think he'll like feeling it on his little hands. It has these wooden acorn pieces that hang down. Oh, now you're coming around. Hmm. Well, that's his chinchilla from behind. Okay. <laughs> Um, wooden acorn pieces, some loofah, uh, I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. It's going to hang from his cage, so you can hear it's going to make, oh, here he comes running just to hear what the sound is. Chinchilla! That's an extreme close-up. Sorry, I don't have a camera, I film this on my iPad. So, um, you can hear it makes a lot of fun sounds. It's from Petco. It is called, oh my gosh, he's climbing up my... There he goes! You can see all the dust he made from last night's dust bath. That is one night's worth of dust um, that I'm going to sweep up here in a second. So it's for guinea pigs, rats, rabbits, and chinchillas. And I really think that he will love it. It's a little pricey, $4.99 for this one. But um, can you put a price on your love? I can't. So, anywho... Next up, I got Ecotrician simply because it's on sale. I'm going to have to pick out the corn and the peas that are so blatantly right there against the um, bag siding. All my hamsters are dwarfs. I have two winter whites, one Russian Campbell dwarf, and two robos. So with the exception of the robos, I gotta, they got to pick that stuff out. But it was 10% off because of this packaging damaging right there. Oh, no, giant tech. But, um... I really don't care because I saved 80 cents. 10 cents. 80 cents. Awesome. Next up, I didn't take these out of the bag, but I got Whimsy Chews. I am a fan of Whimsy Chews. My hamsters, some of them are very picky chewers, and they will chew these. All 100% of my hamsters chew these. It's a dog treat, but it is a hamster treat as well. Some people feel that these aren't safe because they turn into like this green weird mush if the animal were to throw up or something, but I've never had problems with it. I am very, very um, cautious about what I give my animals, and I 
feel that you're safe, but I am not an expert. I am only an owner and animal lover. So I give these to my hamsters and they adore them. So $2.99 a package and you got four per package. And I always get the very small, like the smallest size they have. Oh look, they're made in Holland, so good. Moving on, these fancy ceramic bowls. Hey, I don't know what that hap what just happened. But these fancy ceramic bowls were on sale, $2.99. Um, currently, my hamsters have these bowls for their sand bath. And uh, so, sorry, there were some treats in there for Oliver. It's kind of dirty. But away with those bowls and in with a sustainable ceramic bowl that was on sale for $2.99. These are in the small pet section. They're veggie bowls, I think, for guinea pigs, but whatever. So, they're sand baths now. Um, I got two orange, one blue, $2.99 each, and um, they're the perfect size for my hammies. I also got one that's super cute. This is the last one um, that has veg on the side. I don't do any cage theming, so any little bit of funness I can put in there makes me happy. I don't really think my hamsters care too much. And I got a slightly bigger one because it was, I bought out all their small ones and I felt bad having one hamster without. So yeah, that's it. Oh, oh no, it's not. What am I thinking? I also got this. It is a pet refuge. Now, I love these because my hamsters love them. I have one for my winter white Rivka, and she's always crawling on top of it. It seems to be her favorite hide. These are found in the small pet section of, or not the small pet section, I'm sorry. These are found in the reptile section of uh, Petco. And you can see it's made of all natural wood. This was $7.99, high priced item, but I think it's worth it because not only can the hamster hide in it, it can crawl on top of it, they can chew it because the wood is safe, and this rough outer bark edging you can see really helps on trimming their nails. So I'm quite pleased with these. I will always and forever use them unless like some hamster magically developed a voice and can tell me, hey, I hate this, which isn't going to happen. So yeah, that is the small pet haul. Uh, Oliver is hiding over here on my shoe. So if you've made it this far, uh, congratulations, you're enduring. Um, here he is. No, sorry, he's not coming out. But thank you for watching. I uh, really love hearing back from you guys. I love watching your videos. They um, keep me entertained. I watch it more than I watch television. In fact, I don't watch television at all. So all I watch are your videos. And Oliver and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, how do you do this? Bye. Gratuitous Oliver shots. Look at him hopping. Oh, Oliver, you're so cute. You can't have that. That's for the hamster. Look how cute. I don't know if anyone's tried filming a chinchilla, but it's incredibly hard, especially on an iPad camera. Oh, look. He likes it already. Oh, he likes it. Oh, he likes it. I love when they like what I buy them. It makes me feel so special. Oh, look at him go. What are you doing? All right, he just he just ate it. I gotta go. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.